Later today, we get the always highly anticipated FOMC event risk. We suspect there could be plenty of fireworks in the aftermath of the decision with so much hanging in the balance. As things stand, the market has been pricing in a Fed pivot and will be expecting to hear some form of a message that the central bank is nearing the end of the rate hike cycle. We've seen this sentiment reflected through stronger equities and a weaker U.S. dollar. As far as rates go, the broad consensus is that the Fed will deliver a 25 basis point rate hike. So if we see a 25 basis point hike and a Fed signaling the end to the rate hike cycle, this will give a nod to recent price action and open the door for some more upside in stocks and downside in the U.S. dollar. Of course, the problem here is that none of the Fed communications in the lead up to the decision have suggested the central bank is ready to signal a pivot and an end of tightening just yet. The risk, of course, being that if the Fed delivers a 25 basis point rate hike with accompanying messages that rates still could go higher and the central bank isn't fully convinced inflation has peaked out, this could open the door for a significant reversal of flow in which stocks come under pressure and the U.S. dollar recovers. We do believe that whatever the case, it does feel like at this stage there is less risk on momentum to be had from a dovish communication than the possibility of heavy risk off if the Fed fails to match market expectations. We would also say that there is the outside chance of a 50 basis point hike, though in this case, short of a quick aggressive risk off move, we actually see the market liking this outcome as it would potentially mean a dovish hike in which the Fed is saying this is it and the time has finally come to consider a pivot. That's all for now.